is um, Whip Ray here. I'm still waking up because, uh, yeah, I had an amazing nap. I was supposed to wake up at 7.30. And then I was like, fuck it, let's sleep for another hour. And so I slept for another hour, and we are here right now because I am, I've, I've got my wonderful co-host, Lasankia, and James is, uh, I just couldn't leave him hanging. He said it'd be so nice to join us tonight. Um, what he said was, uh, Stardate just woke up. Pretty much that. Don't worry, I'm here to translate for you. I figured. Need to adjust your audio because you're for the for first time in a while. You're really, uh, really loud. Not in a bad no. way, but like. I blame the government. It's clearly a conspiracy. Yeah, we'll put you at 150. What does that do for us? Say something. Uh, does this work better? Uh, I'll put you on like 125. Part of it's like, I have things like Jeff and stuff like that, they'll come in there and they'll be like, whisper quiet, and so I have to raise like, my fucking, um... Oh yeah, the overall. The overall, and I'm at like 120%, I don't want to go much higher, because it starts fucking with other things. Alright, I think you're good now, because... Alright. Uh, yeah. You're, you're getting yeah, just... Yeah, with this... You're getting just below the red line, but you're not like, maxing out like you were. Ah, perfect then. Yeah. Yeah, let this be a lesson to any future potential streamers. Uh, the hardest job, the hardest part of the whole job is audio balancing. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Especially when you start having multiple people in. The... <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I wonder why that bot's not working. Like, it worked once, and that was it. The SX bot. Where it's like, Whipper, he's live. Yeah, I don't and know. Never again. I don't get it. Kind of gets to my nerves. So, anywho, uh, now that we're actually getting to the part about where we're talking about the game. <laughs> um, okay. So, by the last way, time everyone we... lost the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, last time we played, we were doing really good on the server that uh, James was very kindly hosting for us. We had some network hiccups, but uh, they, 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 we were able to work through them. Um, that said, apparently, every time that server went down, it. Uh, it reset the damn world. <laughs> Which is uh, what they call not optimal. Yeah. So we went through about three or four resets before we were just like, fuck it. And then the hosting issue got a little bit worse to the point where it was dropping us every, like, um... Like, what, every 10, like 15 30, minutes at most? At most, uh, on average, is like every two to three minutes. It was, like, really frustrating. Yeah. To be fair, fix the problem where it was resetting the world, but uh, the uh, the networking is not not good. Yeah, this is what I refer would refer to as subpar. <laughs> so, um, in an effort to make sure we didn't like you know die every three minutes and get fresh supplies, which kind of just killed the challenge by just a little bit. By the way, the camera's up. By the way, <clears throat> um, oh, uh, right, I can no see you. Yeah, let me. Just a thing for that. I forgot. Uh, it's online. There we go. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Okay. Magically, it's like I'm there. Um, but so we decided to fire up because uh, I had was doing like a solo thing to kind of learn how to do everything myself. So we fired up another game um, that I was hosting. Um, <clears throat> and. Uh, yeah, so we started building another base. Essentially, it's the same thing. We start with the 3x3 three three and kind of build out from there. Um, James put together his wonderful little, like, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 building, collectivized, everything in one piece. Dealy. And we're kind of quite on the work to build that right now. We've built uh, the first third of it, three rooms. Uh, we've got the power room, we've got the work room, and we've got the, like, main airlock room. That we'll be showing in just a moment. Um... But we're working in towards the middle area, and then we'll probably have to be starting to do... Because we're going to be doing our gas balance first, and then we'll be doing hydroponics and uh, mining stuff. Not mining stuff. Smelting stuff. Smelting stuff. And... Uh, the furnacing. Furnacing, yes. Um... But, uh... Yeah, let me just cut over to the live feed. Ho oh, ho, that's not the right one. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. I was like, I'm supposed to cover up. Oh, that's not the right one either. I'm supposed to cover up my portrait, so it looks like I'm being my portrait. 
I mean, I guess you are I your really own avatar. To, I could like put myself, my head directly over my head, but this kind of works well for me. So that sounds like something that I should do, that I should demand. Yeah. The viewers demand my head on a pike. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, a little station thing. I'll give you the oxide view in just a few minutes. You can see James kind of running around back there on the um, the workroom side. But, uh, yeah, we got a little 3x3 three three no here. More, man. As everyone knows, I love my storage. And I've discovered the importance of being able to have a light into the storage. You can see it. Uh, we've got our little air and CO2 fill stations there. Because uh, James is playing as a robot. And uh, we've discovered that uh, he doesn't like getting cold. So what we're going to do instead is we're just going to put him in a suit and fill it with gases. And then this way, you know, he stays warm because the suit will heat up the gases so he doesn't freeze. Um, his batteries last a little bit longer. Um, he's got a nice blue paint job on everything. It's great. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, we got over here. That's our little gas fill station there. We've got... Uh, where's the other light I put in here? We've got a little workroom right here. Um, I think we still need to get, like, a tool machine... Like they've got like all sorts of printers. They've got like yeah. a tool printer. They've got an organic printer where you can actually just directly print things for like food and stuff like that. And then uh, they've got the centrifuges. We may end up actually putting the second floor on this just to accommodate all that shit. You know? Oh no, yep. we can't because the solar thing is on the other side, and this would block that. Uh, no, I think it'll be fine because so? the angle, the angle that we're dealing with the solar is the mountain. Hmm. I was thinking that it's not that it's not fully eliminated. <clears throat> it's not limited at all. Um, ah, glad to know that you've joined me in my in my escapades. Oh yeah, but uh, yeah, so that's that section of it. And then over on the power side, oh yeah, then right here we have our little mining setup right there. You can kind of see. We eventually, once we get more power, we need to figure out putting like some lights in the hallways or something. But then we have our battery. Yeah. Um, it's just got an LED to kind of keep it semi lit. I probably need to put, replace that LED with like a vertical one. Because those do so well with like, when you do it, uh, the, the long one horizontally with giving light for a whole room. Oh, absolutely. Um, like this needs more room. Honestly, I just put an LED in here so I could see the doorways when I had everything turned off. I mean, yeah, it's not a bad idea. But, um, but yeah, we got the two battery, the two big batteries. We got it hooked up to some solar panels. They do track the sun. It's pretty neat. Um, we've got our little oxygen station here. That um, I'm sure I'm gonna be actually. Is my helmet on? I can't remember. It is not. Uh, helmet is on. Visor is open. No. So what we're gonna we're gonna do? We're just gonna plug that sucker in there. And now that we have a fully filled oxygen tank, I'll put it back in. <laughs> it was oddly like convenient. Like a weirdo. I mean, it was at like about 2,200 kPa's of oxygen, but I mean. Why not top off? So, that's our little base. We're trying to make it into like a big box-like shape. It looks like the sun's coming up, so we'll be able to have a better look for it. Um, our battery charger here. So he's got a spare set of a uh, big batteries and little batteries you can pull from. I should probably print another small battery, honestly, because mm, there's three probably. for the tools. And then you use one for your suit. So we should probably yeah. have, like, two more small, spare smalls. Honestly, if we make another another spare large, then mm -hmm. I can just throw the uh, small I'm using up there. Well, the only reason I was would print another small... Baldur's Gate, bitches. Yeah, that's not what the stream is. So... <laughs> anyway, um... But, uh, yeah, so, like, I, like, the only reason I said the other small is just because you're suit using it. But, yeah, if we do another large, eh, I mean, I don't know how much, I mean, the qu big question is how long is it going to take your suit to actually drain? It's great. Oh, that's uh, good to hear. It, I'm glad to hear that Baldur's Gate's doing good. Hmm? Yeah, it went through about 15% in the little time I've been logged on. That's not, oh, because you're using the, probably the face light, too. Yeah, that's yeah. with me turning on and off the light off and on. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about that. I forgot about that. Does your night vision goggles not work when you're, um, your night vision on? Oh, no, it works. I actually switched to that when I saw its battery going down. Yeah, the, uh, the, the lights just, like, on just charge, if you're just on the small battery in the suit, if you're just using it to heat the air inside the suit, it's like 20% yeah, it, if you're out all night. 
is yeah, it was if you're barely using a flashlight though, that. like in a warm environment, you will burn through your entire fucking stack in a night. <laughs> yeah. It's it's brutal. Um I probably should deploy that portable AC, because we're getting a little warm in here. It's almost thirty. Uh, watch out. I'm about to put in the corner. Put yeah. baby in the corner. Pretty much. Um, and we're just going to play uh, hot potato with these things. Admittedly, we probably want to see about um, making some more of those rotatable solar panels. Oh, yeah. We That's were talking probably. about that. Let's see. We made the second of the batteries. We made the fill stations. So, yeah, the next thing is we wanted to put down, what, like, at least one, but up to, like, four or five more solar panels. Like, in my base and single player that I had going, I had 12 basic panels to two batteries, and that was able to fully charge them every day with a constant drain of, like, outside stuff going on. Um, alternatively, I sent you those two links last night for having the thing automatically uh, reset and then turn off, and now I'm sure you could probably yeah. figure out to turn it back on. Yeah, I was looking at that. It's... That could be added, but honestly, it's mm -hmm. it doesn't seem necessary. Yeah, I didn't think it was either, but I, just just for the sake of potentially it being there. But uh, essentially, we want at least, I would say ideally, we want about eight panels. Is what we yeah. want. Yeah. Um, and that yeah, would that's what I was thinking. To, to go, so we've got like the three or the four right now. Yeah, we've got three, so we want to make five more. Yeah, yeah I do. Can... I if I was doing the the horizontal and vertical tracking on this thing, uh -huh. I'd do the the on off. Yeah. switching circuit because yeah. then it would be like freaking 15 or 20 chips to do because mm -hmm. horizontal takes a crap ton of power yeah so probably what we want to do is where'd the other small battery go uh, you put it in a thing oh right the air conditioner <laughs> I'm not a clever man um probably might as well just fucking that up <laughs> they have the never pocket. accused me of being a genius yeah yeah, yeah. but um but they did send you to space <laughs> They sent me with a robot. <laughs> I like to point out, all my guy has been doing has been literally in the mines every day for like the past week. <laughs> Isn't that where they normally send the robot? I know, right? <laughs> Old, dirty, and dangerous? I feel I feel that our roles may have been somehow like reversed or something. But um, This is what happens when you read the dossiers backwards. We need to uh, get the centrifuge built. If we're going to recycle the old ones, because if you look at our current recycler, what it's got in there, it's only got a lot, but it's got a decent chunk of stuff. And then we'll have to yeah. cycle that through the one thing. Just remember, don't double up on the big stacks of metal, because I, I purpose was like, here's a thick brick of 100 gold, here's another brick of 100 gold. And then he puts both of them in the machine, I was like, that's not the point of that! <laughs> Listen, but, I'm not saying that I needed all of it, but uh, we did use a lot of it. Hey, we still have 210, from what I recall. I'm fixing that. Hold uh, on. But yeah, we need centrifuge. We need some steel Unrelated plates. Unrelated note, we need more copper and iron. Yeah, I know the copper was the, the big thing. Did we really go through all the iron? Oh, yeah. You put all no, those. no. All the iron's in here. That's why. I was just like, I thought, we, I, thought I just made like yeah, 300. There was, there was one gram of iron in this and 176 mm -hmm. in the other. Like, ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we, uh, we could use more copper. I figured we that. one gram. Um, but yeah, we'll probably throw, like, no, not there, because the damn thing. Where the hell would we put the centrifuge? Uh, center of the room or a second floor? I vote a second floor just because, you know, we put, like, a ladder right here or something like that. Do a ladder. I'm afraid to do an elevator yet just because of power draw. But an elevator would work, or a ladder would work really well. Yeah, a ladder, and then eventually make it an elevator. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that, yeah. Um, so we'll do a second store, and then we can do the, like the security printer, the food printer, and all the other stuff. All right, I'm at 78% food. I've got 20 road flares. My filters are all good. Uh, yeah. Well, I we should I probably turn on the uh, huh? the doohick majigger out here while we have power. Uh, that's, a, that's not a bad idea. All right. Up. Hope your mask's closed. I just did. I just did. I've only yeah. partially strangulated myself a few times. <clears throat> Don't worry. I wouldn't worry about it. That's what all the cool kids are doing. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a little basic little setup to get, because uh, we're, we should be using nitrogen, but we're not, because we're bad. Uh, we're doing CO2 for our, uh, for our, uh, jet packs once our nitrogen runs out, even though it's green colored. I mean, I suppose it really wouldn't matter that much, but there's a whole hell of a lot more carbon dioxide in this atmosphere than there is nitrogen, so. Alright, so we said we were looking for copper, right? Uh, yes. Alrighty. Let's go high hoeing for that. Man, that's all those damn frames. Damn. I mean, really just is bothered by this. There we go. Aesthetic. There we go. <clears throat> Yeah, so the other night we were, like, hunting around for gold. Actually, I think we were hunting for copper, is what it was. And uh, I found, like, a couple gold veins next to each other. And I, is it this pit? No, that pit's the, uh... That pit's the... Was an iron mine. Um, I'm trying to remember where we have the fucking gold pit at. It was, like, twice that size. It was just filled with gold. And so, like, I got, like, three or four hundred gold in a single trip. I'm like, holy shit, fuck. That's a lot of damn gold. Um, but we're looking for, I think there's copper over here. <clears throat> there's a little bit of copper. Are you on? Yeah, you're copper. You're copper. But, um, yeah, yeah, so we just need to kind of see about I have my hoeing, I hoeing. It's off to work, I going. Get some copper. Yeah, I don't think we have anything here. So are we able to do anything at the base without any copper right now? Uh, I don't think so. Aside from building that one section with all the iron that we have? Yeah, that's, that's basically what's next is... Actually, uh, may I recommend that we build the second floor first? Okay. So we can yeah, get I the can, centrifuge up there. I can arrange there. that. Um, get that together. Because um, then you can also pull the extra glass from that as well. Uh, there's more iron. Please has copper. It'd be really nice to have some. Oh, hero. What are you? Oh, you're nickel. No, <laughs> not you. Boo. Ew, nickel. At least not yet. I'm trying to remember. The they direction. bothered to have that on this planet. Ew. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to remember what direction I found an abundance of copper. And I have a sneaking suspicion it wasn't south. <clears throat> As I continue to kind of, like, jetpack and jet set my way around. Uh, are you iron? You are. Hmm. Man, am I really just going to get, like, fucked over by lack of iron? Where are you? You're more iron. Okay. Can we get, get like something other than iron on the red planet? I mean, I understand that the whole red planet thing is because of the iron, but I mean, throw me a bone here. You know, for a place covered in iron oxide, there sure is a definitive lack of oxide. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um. Well. Give you three guesses what I just found more of. Uh, was it gold? Yeah. Uh, was it copper? It's not copper. It's gold. Then it was definitely iron. I hate you. Of course I found it just as the fucking sun is setting. Yep, you sure are. Self-respect? What's self-respect? I have no idea what that term means. <laughs> Overrated. Exactly. Besides, you don't find self-respect on Mars. Why do you think they sent me here in the first place? <clears throat> uh, I should have got more alcohol. I assume it's because no one else would volunteer. Yeah, I feel like I got voluntold. Because, I mean, they didn't even send me with other people. They sent me with, like, a robot. It was a very needy and mouthy one, too. So it's just like, mm, I'm not really sure. But I am efficient. I mean, 
yeah. I don't know what I'm efficient at, but I'm efficient at. I mean, you're 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 really good at like designing the whole thing, like to the point of also including you know forgetting to include facilities for like oxygen and shit like that. But I mean, for a robot, that's not too terrible. We don't need oxygen. Hell, we don't even really need pressurization, except that it keeps me warm at night. Well, the pressure doesn't. You just need to like have the gas in the suit. Not even the... Actually, that's an idea. You could probably just turn the pressure down, couldn't you? Uh. Cause this way, yeah, I could, you, but it's you, holding. It's holding fifty. I was say like you could turn it down, and then um, this way, when you pop your suit, you're not as uh, you're not expelling as much at a time. Eh, honestly, not a big deal. Because right. eventually, it'll equalize to whatever the base is at. Yeah, I mean, well, no, because the suit will unless you open it. But then like, when you close it, it'll immediately flush it back down to where it needs to be. And put the rest into the waste tank. It's usually yeah, how it goes. Um, but I mean, you probably could put it down safely down to 25, and there goes my flare. Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> so a fun fact about this game is if your flare or tool or whatever falls through the world, after a certain depth, it just reemerges at the top. You're expendable, and the corpo needed a test subject. Uh, I mean, if they need a test subject, they could throw a monkey or, an, or a dog in a damn space capsule and send it up here. I feel like I really pissed somebody off or fucked someone's, uh, someone's, uh, child. Not child like that. No, that was, I'm just gonna stop. You were looking for the word daughter. Daughter or try. son. I was trying to do gender neutral. Off, well, that's, I'm just gonna stop. No, Once it's okay. That hole's not deep enough. Keep digging. <laughs> it's, it's only a couple feet above my head. What's the worst I could possibly do? Um, yeah, I mean, you're, all, you're already underground. Now, but yeah, obviously I pissed them off really bad by, really by having intercourse with their, with their offspring, who are obviously of very legal age to do so in the first place. And because of that, I... <laughs> they were the clearly place. consenting and of legal age. Yes, I checked. there we go. That's exactly what happened. And uh, it bit me in the ass, and here we are. Um, Kinky. All right, so I left north from the base, so I need to head south I'll back to the base with my obvious lack of fucking sure. materials. So we're going to fly back and hope we don't <laughs> hit sounds like a that direction. kills us. That's, that's where we're going to go with this one. It's pitch black. I could load up the tracking app, but I also know that I exactly went south from the base. So if I fly north long enough, I'll see the base, and then by extension, be able to go back to the base. Hopefully. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that giant fucking mountain I had to fly over. Oops. Um, I can kind of almost see... Oh, yeah, I see the base. Thank God for lights. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> they do tend to make everything better. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So south didn't have... Sh or north didn't have ship. I guess I could check south. Because I remember there's a giant mountain that I ca ca carved, like, about a third of it out of. For gold, but I think it... I I think it had copper. I'm just gonna wait for like daybreak to be able to find that though. And if I had NVGs, I'd be able to pull this stuff off. Actually, honestly, they're not that great because everything turns green. There's no color cue, so even the like generic rocks that are on the ground that aren't anything look like stuff. I can see a horizon though. Oh well, that's all. I can't see anything right now. <laughs> Like, I'm looking for, like, so I can at least see to the... the so I can at least see rocks. Because if I can get wrecks to rocks, I can then just turn off the NVGs and flash my light and see what's there. So... That's kind of partially where I'm at with it. Uh, did you need me to go inside to do that little plate swap thingy? Nope. Okay. Did you already do it? Oh, I forgot. Most of this is already metal. <laughs> yeah. Right about that. I'm gonna turn off our. Uh, well, I'll leave it on. And see what happens. I'm gonna go inside. I'm so disappointed in myself. I didn't get any good shit either. Ugh. Open 
and Sasquatch. Um, what are the batteries at? That, that doesn't come comfortably draining the batteries. <laughs> We're at three yellow bars and one red. <clears throat> I also feel I'm going to hunt down more oxite. Uh, yeah, we are going to add just a smidge more volume to the base. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because someone wants space. I mean, I want space, but on the very same token, it's not like I can just open up the thing to outside to like the above atmosphere and get all that space. Because for whatever reason, we're not allowed I mean, to have I mean, that space. It's sort of like weather. It's all around you. You just kind of just kind of do whatever, man. Yeah. What am I printing? I'm printing... Uh, ladders. Ladders. That's what I'm printing. Uh, I think it was on this machine. Go. And we are looking for L-A-D-D-E-R. We'll do two kits. One. And... I like to think that two. by kit, it means that everything's actually from Ikea and flat-packed. Yeah, actually, I would... I mean, that's what most of these things look like, when you, especially when you put them together, too. Like, it's just bare bones and these stuff to include all, like, the bits and pieces to put it back together. Pick up a chip I dropped on the floor. <clears throat> yeah, I just need to... I need this to go up. Oh, by going up, though, I have to... Mm, I see. Alright, well, I'm just going to put that in the box. Well, your ladder kits are printed, for what that's worth. Excellent. And I'll even be a good boy and put all these bars back into the box. Put that there. The 216 mega block of that. The block of that. The block of that. That's just a little disconcerting. Where's my suit at? Oh, 85%. I'll take that. That's fine. Did you need to hand with anything out there? Uh, not as yet. Mostly I've been bump testing the windows as I put them in. That's, that's fair. Oh, so you're actually almost done. Uh, uh, I'm going to need three more windows. So if you can make three more glass panes. Uh, yeah. Wait a second. Uh, where's that silicon? Two there. Two yeah, there. I thought I had enough, but I, uh, so I might have miscounted there. Three. All right. Would I be able to ask you a favor? Absolutely. When I throw these in the airlock, well, actually, you'll have to cycle the air, or, well, yeah, I'll cycle the airlock. I'm going to put some ores in there. Could you put the ores into the one, um, into the one box? Oh, into the ore box? Actually, Absolutely. the sun's coming up, so I will, I will do that myself. All good. All right, all right, all right. Um, coming out now. Because I just noticed the sun kind of slowly creeping up. Yep, yeah, I can tell the sun's coming up because the solar panels will flip back around. <laughs> That's how I tell whether what time of day it is, is I just look at the panels. So I did see some YouTube guides out there that were like, hey, you know, here's how you can do the, uh, here's your plates. Here's how you can do uh, really cool, neat, and awesome, like, uh, clocks. I'm like, oh, that's really handy. So. I am not against that, in the least. Yeah. I, I still agree that we, they, the game should just have a wristwatch. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would Even if it's an item I have to make. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. Alright, I don't think I need my nerve flares quite yet, but I did want to check. How are our tanks doing? Well, that's weird. Um. Weird is not good. So, uh... 
There's only 25 kPa in the pipe O2. There's nothing in that tank. Yeah, it's going to prioritize filling this first. Well, the thing is, there's nothing to fill in this. They're empty. No, it's going to fill the uh, the actual pipe. Yeah, that's still only 22.66k. Oh, that's 2,000. No, no, that's two. Yeah, that's two. That's only two. Like, 90. That's like. That's 80 fucking bitty. Where's it all going? Yeah. Because it should be up to like. I think I said up to like five or 6,000. Yeah, it's 6,000. Yeah, it should prioritize. Let's see here. Because this is a back pressure regulator, so it won't actually put anything through it until it breaks 9,950. But yeah, we've so got the system... nothing in the tanks at all. Yeah, it won't fill the tanks because it's going to pull from the tanks to fill Which, this pipe. The thing first. is, with a two because active, of the way the pressure regulator works. I got that, but with two pro, with two fucking active vents, you should be getting about uh, a kilopascal of pressure a second. That's how I was working on my base, which is one. I was getting a killer pass, killer pass yep. a second through the pipe into a tank <laughs> or into the little like air fill thing. And these filters aren't even getting used. Like both the oxygen filters are at a hundred percent. Same on the CO2. Uh, let's see. That's the filter coming out Hang of the on. back. Let me, let me, there we go. That's... No, I just flipped the active vent. Oh, I were think... they the wrong way around? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were set on outward, and so I just put it inward. I was just like, why is this... Okay. I don't know why that happened, but uh, I see air me. moving that would be now, so... Me. I remember clicking those last time I was on. Off me. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's still either way. Ah, uh, yep, pressure's climbing now. Okay, I was, I was like, that's it. Shouldn't be at nothing. But yeah, I, I remember because because it says like click set outward. I could have swore I had clicked it to set inward or something like that, but apparently not. Well, so that one's entirely yeah. on me because I remember clicking those on. So they were blue. So that's entirely on me. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. CO two is. Filling up stupid quick. Yeah, I told you. That's why I was like, we uh, could do nitrogen. And we then could just do CO2. O2 is... Yeah, nitrogen would fill fast enough, I think. Yeah, but I mean, in comparison to have, like, always on-demand propellant. I mean... Because once it fills up, then we just turn the damn thing off. Eh, either way. Yeah. Either way, those will all fill up. And now that they're actually working... I'm going to go back inside and set up the uh, the actual floor. All right, sounds good. I'm going to hopefully grab yep. some copper here in a second. I'm going to I'm going to rip out some glass and uh, hope for the best. You know. Yeah. Well, I'll let you know if things go terribly. <laughs> well, thankfully we're already causing more oxygen to come into the environment or into those tanks at least. So if worst comes to worst, we fill a tank up and then immediately vent the damn thing. <clears throat> You know? Yeah, true. Or I could just buy this big old pile of oxide that I'm at. You know, I can just start getting that. That's it. I did just find a copper vein. So hopefully that'll, that'll keep us rolling. Do you know approximately how much we were going to need? Of? Copper. For the panels. I think it's like 15 uh, for it. Give me a second. I will tell you. Each solar kit takes 20 copper. So 20. if we want five of them, we want 100 copper. Oof, yeah, that's more than the basic kit. Alright. I mean, I feel they're bigger than the basic ones, but still, that's like, oof. Big major oof is. <clears throat> Alright, we don't need any of these over here. I don't think so. So, what I could do is I could also just get a bunch of oxide as well. Oh, do me a favor, too. Pull out the battery from the air conditioner. And just put it back in the rack, but don't put a new one in the air conditioner, because I forgot with all that oxide we're going to be melting in there, it's going to drop the air temperature significantly. Oh, yeah, probably a good idea. <clears throat> Alright, so we said we need at least 100 for copper. I think I had... Yeah, I think I put, like, about another 14 or so in the rack, or, like, 10 or 14 in the rack. 
Oops, there's nothing there. Uh, Piler's iron. Don't tell me that's more fucking gold. Oh, <gasps> not silver. Fuck silver. Silver. Uh, what do we have up here on the hill? We have iron, iron, and iron. Okay. 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 Can we, can we get copper, maybe? Copper would be good, I hear. Any copper? Pretty please. Cherry on top. That is iron. That is iron. That is oxide. That is a big hole I put in the side because I was doing gold. Um, okay. There are some volatiles. Now, one thing we should try doing at some point, too, is do the alien with the robot. And just say to hell with oxygen. <laughs> Fill the base up with volatiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just don't ever put a fucking road flare on there. <laughs> but how else am I going to be able to see? <laughs> Whole base going to be filled with hydrogen. Oh, man. I don't see how this could possibly go wrong. No, not at all. I mean, the Hindenburg did that, right? Look at how that one turned out. Ooh, that's a lot of vodka. Mm. Ooh. Alright, found more copper. Please not be surface deep. I appreciate that, thank you. Alright, so at least I'll have the copper for us. Um, was there anything else I had to run through the furnace tonight? Because I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to be coming back at night. Uh, no idea. <laughs> Alright. Uh, did we need anything else to go with that copper that we needed? Do we need a third battery? No, we're not going to have enough power to go through the third battery. This will be barely enough, barely enough for this two. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. We need iron and we still have a shit ton of gold. Yeah, so. we have plenty of steel. Oh, the centrifuge. What's the centrifuge going to take? Uh, Make sure we're set up. That on. will take some amount of things. I mean, it takes like a roughly bunch of steel. and approximately equal to five copper and twenty iron. Uh, that's right, because it takes the four steel plates, though. All right. Yeah. That's not too bad. Actually, if you want to preemptively print those steel plates for me, and the fucking centrifuge. <laughs> oh no, we can't because we don't have the copper. That's right. That's right. Dirt, dirt, dirt. 50, 100, 150. Okay, I got 150 copper and some change. Um, I'm going to load up on oxide. And then I'm just going to release it all in the base. Okay, we're at 47 in the base. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably going to get like three or four stacks given the volume we have. Alright, come on, where is... There's the base. Which means... My oxide... Should be on the hill on the side over here that it's coming up. If I remember right. <clears throat> Perfect. Give me my suit. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the flare. All right. Flare out. All right. Happy, happy mining time. As he digs in his diggy diggy hole. Goddamn right. I might as well be a fucking space dwarf at this rate. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy dwarf in a diggy dwarf world. Uh, Pretty sure that's how that goes. Yeah. Life's fantastic. Made of. Uh, oxide. 
Yeah, that's how that goes. I'm a tiggy dwarf in a tiggy world. <laughs> I don't want iron. Why do I have iron? Go away. Time to actually use my fucking flashlight. Fuck it, Life's bro. fantastic when you're spastic? There you go. That's the spirit. <clears throat> yeah, that's two stacks of oxide. How high is, is it in the base right now? If you're even in. Uh, averaging 25. Alright, that's not too bad. I guess because you had all that old, cold Martian air. Well, no, because you probably sealed it up before the sun went down. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, is that all the oxide we're getting? I am inclined to believe so. What we need to do, on an unrelated to the uh, current game we're playing note, is uh, see how many of us need to get Among Us and do a big old stream of that at some point. Because uh, I know I have it. I think you said you have it. No, I don't have it. I'm of two minds on that game, honestly. Yeah, Actually, if I'm I don't... Right, it's free to play on phones. Yeah, no, I I get it. That's not the issue. The yeah. thing is, I was thinking about it, right? Mm -hmm. And it's super good when you don't have voice comms with everyone else, I've noticed. Or well, at least when you only use the voice comms during emergency meetings. So what I'm thinking is you could do, because I think you can... You can't move, move the whole channel. But, like, you could just do, like, an analysis of, like, no comms until... Right. Right, until a meeting's called. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing. Because otherwise, I mean, if if you're not the imposter, it kind of takes all the fun out of it when people are constantly calling stuff off. Yeah, yeah, no, because that's like when we did it with my coworkers. That's essentially what we did as well. We, 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 weren't, we weren't muting each other, but we had like that kind of like, we're not talking unless we're in the meeting mode. So you have a couple people go like, fuck, right. or whatever, and you would hear that if they've like, you know, kind of, it happens, you know. But um, right. you wouldn't do anything overt, and you kind of it was mostly on an honor system. But if it's a group of everyone who knows each other, you know. Yeah, it's a little easier. Yeah, yeah that's like, why. Yeah. That's the the only thing that I had against it. Otherwise, it looks hilarious. I've been watching my sister play it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that would be the really the biggest thing is just you would have to have the quote unquote honor system with like not talking unless you were in the verdict thing. So. Because that's how I've seen a bunch of other, like, YouTubers and streamers do it, too. Like, they'll just either self-mute, or they'll do whatever else until, um, you know, it's deliberation time. And then, you know, worry about stuff. Right. So. <clears throat> Alright, oh, I'm coming back to the base. Time to start smelting things. I need to have a fucking outside light or something like that, too. I keep popping flares so I can see shit. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say we need to build some lights and put them out there. Well, at least around the damn... Um, around the mining section. Because that's, like, really the only thing I'm having to relatively consistently do stuff with. Are you in the airlock? No, I'm not. Okay. Like, nope, I'm going, in the workroom. Am I going crazy, or... I mean, you're acting kind of sus over there. Oh, God, don't you fucking start. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, split one of my ice. Fire. Fire. And fire. And watch that temperature. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Yeah, so if you stand right next to that furnace when it fires off... It goes to about 600 Celsius. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now that if you blow up the base with that, uh, I I'll blame you. Well, this is why I specifically told you <laughs> to make sure you move the vent not next to the damn thing. Because <laughs> I was like, James, I'm pretty sure you're going to blow us up if you put those right there. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. It hasn't blown uh, up yet. Yet. All right, I'm making two ingots of copper. All right, okay. making an ingot of copper. Got it. I hate you so much. 
On a completely unrelated note, uh, we now have four sheets of steel. All right, cool. Um, are you already upstairs? I mean, I'm inside. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, All I right. can be anywhere in the building within like three seconds, so. For I am a robot. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Let some pressure off. Fire this. Alright, there we go. 126. Where was that gold at? More gold! Oh! Alright, was there anything else? And. Of course, being the dum dum that I am. I fucking am a dumbass. I didn't eject my gold. Well, good thing we're building that fucking centrifuge. God damn it. Mm, yep. Fuck. Alright, whatever. That's, that's annoying. <laughs> oh, that's extra annoying. Alright, I'm going to cycle the airlock. God damn it. Every time I was just like, oh, I'll just put it in there. I'll turn the ingots. No, no, you little fool. I did not do that. Did not do that at all. <laughs> you fool. You yeah. flew too close to the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, I have 162 grams of uh, copper, so. Ah, you brought me a giant ingot, did you? I'm going to beat you over the fucking head. Can you throw the uh, the larger of those two ingots into the uh, electronics printer? Done. Put the Much smaller appreciated. one into the, uh, the normal one. Alrighty, where is my disappointment at? Hello, disappointment. I'll put you in that box. Alright, um, so you're putting up all the other shit, I presume. Alright, uh, did you already... Yeah, oh, you unrelated already note, the... printing a centrifuge. Oh, nice. Look at this up here. So nice. All right, let's, uh, we'll drop a thing in here and here. We're going to drop a thing in here. We're going to drop a thing in here. <clears throat> and we're going to drop a thing in there. Look at that. All right, we're just going to watch that beautiful bean footage as the pressure rises. <laughs> I just put about I just to... watch a chunk of ice roll across the room. Hey, there, there's four of them through the base now, and they're just doing their thing. They're doing their best, okay? They're doing their best. They're doing their best. <laughs> they're trying. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got a good, like, 20, 20 kilopascals of pressure through the whole base from all that. Which is yeah, not depressing, bad. considering that was like five kilopascals per block of ice. Oh, goody. Oh, where are those steel sheets? Uh, uh, your centrifuge is on the ground over here ooh. by the uh, thingy. Huzzah. Up we go. Alright, if I was a big-ass ugly motherfucker, where would I put me? Um, actually, in question, where can we easily run power up the wall? Uh, I would run it up this wall right here. Good plan. That's a corner. Yeah, because the main power will eventually be coming in have... off that back corner by the ladder. We don't have any spare cable, do we? Oh, that doesn't have any copper. All right, where's the other copper at? Yep, just ran out of copper here. It's in the uh, box. All right, yeah, I'm going to put that. But in. this copper was enough to make the solar panels. Build. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I was like, oh, wait a minute now. So I'm going to go outside and do terrible, terrible things to our solar where did array. My, what did I just do with my... Oh, there's my... I was like, where did my steel sheets just go? <laughs> I just had those. Where'd they go? Um, let's see, I need that belt, and I need my clippers, and I'm going to cut this entire half of the base off, alright, so that's a junction, click, and then we need, not a junction, oh, we might need a four-way corner. A four-way? 
Ooh, fancy. Yeah, four-way corner, and then that'll go up. If it'll let me go up. It should, but can never be too sure. Uh, continue printing, my good man. That maybe? Whoa, the whole base just fucking blipped for a second. Is that you? Uh, you may be running a hair slow on power. Um, we used a lot last night, and no, the well, battery's I, still I at. Say I use. The battery's still at two, but the whole base just fucking blipped for a second. Uh, no idea. But I think I might have to, cause, yep, cause reasons. Actually, uh, you're outside, right, buddy, pal, friend? I I am. What what's uh, the question? Can I get you to cable cut a straight piece of? Wait, why is that a? F oh, what the fuck? I didn't realize I did that. I didn't realize I turned that into a junction. Okay. Well, that was uh, un unexpected. Okay. Um, what, what 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 do you want me to do? Uh, d d nothing at the moment. I I, I did okay. a thing that I didn't realize I was doing because it just <laughs> auto, it yeah, auto did the it, thing. So I was like, oh. Yes, yeah, I do like how it auto makes junctions. But yeah. Oddly, not always. Yeah, because that's kind of I was like, uh, I wasn't quite hoping for that uh, for that uh, that reaction there to happen. No, no, no that's uh, that's not what the uh, not quite what we wanted there. Well, fuck my life. All right. All right, give me the fucking cables. Not good. There we go. All right, turn you off. Give me the cables. I was just like, oh, wait a minute now there. That's not what I expected. <laughs> um, that was a little awkward. My battery at. All right, there we go. All right, let's take let's take two here. I'm all those chippy chips. Oh, coming out. Mm hmm. Excellent, because I need to go back in. Yep, yep. Because I. Oops, this cable connection over here. That's okay. I gotta run some cables on the inside. Yeah, I just wasn't at all fucking expecting that. Holy shit. Cause yeah, I was like, I ran. Looks like we've got ourselves a brand new whippersnapper. Gangland Spirit! Holy fuck! I, that's a name I didn't expect to see from Pixel Starships. Hey, buddy! Holy shit! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> well, if anyone wonders, and this is not totally not a plug for Pixel Starships, I play a little mobile game, Pixel Starships, and uh, Yang there is—he's um, one of the uh, officers for the fleet of men. Yeah, it's not a plug because they're not paying him yet. <laughs> they're not paying me yet. Yeah. No, I just—I I, that, that was—I was like, what? <laughs> mm. Now, if this were something like, I don't know, Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, I don't know. Or AFK Arena. Oh, God, the number of advertisements. AFK for that Arena. Shit. You have no idea how many fucking advertisements I see for that shit on a daily fucking basis. Oh, my God. Um, is that going to be sufficient, or do I need to flip this up like that? Probably need to flip this up like that. I'm trying to figure out a good way to get the damn cables done up the way they need to be done up. Because, like, I need it at the floor level. But all right, are you in the base still, James? I am. Uh, can you run up to the new room? Sure. 
Um, do you have a spare uh, copper cable by chance? I do not. I was actually about to come in here and make some. Uh, could you like print like one and then just have one kind of poking out the wall on the second floor somewhere? Uh, like I, for yeah. the life of me, one cannot sec. find a nice way to introduce it here, given the existing cable lines I have and the cable runs. And um, I mean, I oh, don't. I guess I could do it like that. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I may have. I may have figured out my own. Okay, I think I figured out what I can do. If I do a three-way corner, like that. Yeah, all right, there we go. And that should give me a cable cut in on that floor, I think. Uh, I see no cables. Oh, it's because it's going... Oh, it's because we're fucking weird like this. Okay, hang on. If I cut that entire damn... Uh, it's because this thing is, like, not quite where it should be. Um, yeah, if you just want to poke one out somewhere and I'll link it in. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll do that. Is that coming through the floor or no? Uh, no, I don't see it. Oh, geez, why is it making Oh, fucking... actually, you know why? I know why. Hold on. Uh, let me go down here. Yep. Yeah, because they're poking through. The, that's that's the issue I'm running It's because it's on the... Yeah, it's not going to unless you put it up further on the wall. But that's okay because this is considered the flooring. Uh -huh. So, yeah, j just run it through like that. You just have to wire any devices that you put up here through the ceiling of the floor below. What? <laughs> because remember oh, how God. walls are double-sided? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, so I put a floor down. I did not put a ceiling. So you're going down. Uh, you're going right. in between the floor right, and so what should be a ceiling. Four-way corner. Do I need anything running ver? I don't think I do. So we're just going to do... I don't know why I made it a four-way corner. All right, I'm clipping that, and I'm going to try and... What is that connecting to vertically? That's not gonna, so I just go away with a straight. Okay, so that's put back there. Oh god, this is like bothering the fuck out of me after Some people play it. Tetris. Others arrange Rubik's Cubes. Ugh. Not us. We try to figure out why you're in an wiring. online survival game. God, why would I do this to myself? Oh right. Alright, I'm coming back inside. <clears throat> <laughs> Quitter. <laughs> No, because I need to put the fucking uh, centrifuge down and put the wire coming into it out to figure out how to hook it up to the rest of the so shit. So you know where it's at? Yeah, because I was like, how in the fuck am I going to wire this shit up? It makes no sense to me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Alright. Please cycle a little machine of death and doom. <clears throat> Phone's off. Open mask. See, most people think that's an airlock. It's actually a teleporter. And not the fun kind. It's the terrible kind that breaks you down and then reassembles you atom by atom. Oh, God. Alright, so first we need to put the centrifuge down. So we'll put that ugly thing. Probably make sure it's not poking through the wall. Like that? Question mark? Alright, and then I need a wrench and plates. Construct, and then I need a welding torch and two plates. Meanwhile, I gotta go outside and figure out what's going on. There we go. Alright, so now we have a semi functional centrifuge. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's right, because the flooring does the floory stuff. That's right, okay. Right, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it kind of hit me. I'm like, wait a minute. All right, so... Oh, crap. Was the power on the left side or was the power on the right side? Oh, crap. All right, at least it's on the bottom. All right, data's on the left, power's on the right. All right, that's... There we are. Okay, we now have weird. eight good solar panels tracking and four crap solar panels existing. All right, that works. Um, we could actually take apart the four crappy ones, because what we can do is we can recycle those. Yeah. Because we have the centrifuge in place, I just have to wire it into the whole place. 
After I figure out the best way to do this, because, oh my god, why am I like this? Uh, I'm going to assume that was a uh, rhetorical question. Uh, I would prefer it to be rhetorical, for what that's worth. Okay, well then it was clearly rhetorical. Yes, clearly. Uh, Alright, that was the pipe going up. Come on, damn it. Alright, there's that. Alright, now that we got that running. Oh my god, this is just so... This changes so much. Um, Alright, I'll probably just do a junction... that and then that was our happy power boy blink 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 ah oh, god it's terrifying you hook up and everything just fucking blacks out for a second yeah i noticed that Ugh. okay uh, i'm gonna throw these solar panels in the recycler yep there it is Ooh. Big old stack of reagent mix. Did you pick up the first big one? Yeah, I did. Alright, uh, just pop it in the chest. I'm about to run it through the, the centrifuge. Yep. Oh boy, and then we get to run it through the furnace after that. If I remember right. Apparently this could also just throw them out into the fucking thing. Alright, activate. All right, well, there's our raw shit. <laughs> I think one of these was solder, Whoa. and then one of these was, uh... Yeah, these just gotta get melted down. All right, well, I'm about to go back outside, then. <clears throat> because I remember right, one of those was, like, a solder ingot and some other shit, so... All right. I'll let you know what we got in terms of resources. Uh, I mean, I got 29 copper, 29 iron, 7 nickel, 24 gold. All right, yeah, we'll see what we get. Uh, what's my battery at? 59%. That's fine. Yeah, I think the next thing we wanted to build was to get the air filtration set up. Uh, that's correct, because we need to have... Um, that in order to do anything else involving air, such as like refilling stations, the smelting facilities, um, and technically the greenhouse too, because after that, we technically needed to do, uh, oh, that's red, oh, that's supposed to be red, um, yeah, it was just, it was just stuff we needed to do with that one. Okay. Um... But yeah, so that one that you already kind of kind of laid out. Uh, the other thing that we could technically maybe need to do is maybe if we have the materials for it, get a couple lights or something. <clears throat> that would probably be handy as well. Turn the valve off. We're still. Having... I love how this forge just stays at a constant 265 fucking Kelvin at all times. It just doesn't ever cool off. It does help. Yeah, I mean, it gives me a nice starting temperature as I'm about to incinerate myself again. Uh, one one. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. And then one oxide. Okay, well fire, in that fire. case, I'm about to use a bunch of iron and make uh, a bunch of frames. Okay, it didn't explode in a bunch of heat. That's nice. Make me my ingots, and then I'll... okay, so you cannot just have a bunch of ingots waiting to get ejected. You need to do things exactly one type at a time. If you're yeah, I was I was reading one guy. He was saying that literally in between each smelt cycle, he completely purges and restarts. Well, I'm not purging and restarting in terms of the gases, but I am definitely purging uh, the mineral bin every fucking time because that's how I have yeah. the thing of like uh, no, he, copper and he iron. He said he mistake. he put in whatever it was to to smelt. How pulls it out of the bin Ooh, and completely consistent. purges the gases. Rinse, mm -hmm. repeat. I was like, seems excessive, but yeah. I mean, if it's working. We have two ingots of solder. 
you might want to check and see what we need to make an APU. Because I think that's exactly what we need to make a new one. Alright, I don't have anything else to smelt. I'm purging the system. I think that might be exactly enough that we need. Good rob one. <laughs> uh oh. So heads up for you. The interior yeah. pressure is not high enough to uh, cycle the airlock. So, oh, yeah. I no saw more, that on my way in. No more free cycles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three gram solder is what we need to make one. Shit, we're just short. All right. All right I'm going to throw our excess bars and shit in the uh, one room, in the one locker. Okay. Um, we uh, do have 29 grams of copper again if you needed that. Yeah, I was going to say, is there any issue if I use... Basically, the last 47 grams of iron to make frames? Because uh, I have 29 spare, so you're good. That's, okay. That smelt gave us 27 extra grams. You need frames? Yeah, we got to make a room. Well, we already have all the frames laid out for the middle thing. Those are already in place. Yeah, I was... Yeah, that's where... That's not going to be filtration. What is that going to be? Uh, we were t saying first floor was storage, second was command and control, and third was greenhouse. That works, actually, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, and I can pick those up to make the other yeah, if yeah. we're short. I just set them there for now. Mm -hmm. Alright, fair. So I guess I'm going, uh, mining tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna need a lot of iron for walls and stuff. Yeah, that um, that we definitely don't have. Yeah, uh, for that room, do not make it windowed. No, I wasn't going to. Yeah. It was just going to be walls. Yeah, that one's going to be one of the and same thing with the doors too. Make sure they're like the secure, heavy duty doors. <clears throat> oh, we want to put real doors on it, do well, we? Well, you know, it's an explosive room. I would, I would hope so. Actually, you God. know, is the middle isn't the middle thing bigger than all the other side rooms? Uh, yes, just slightly. We may actually need that extra space, because you got to remember how we have to have, what, five of those big tanks? Uh, six or seven. Yeah, we may actually, because you want to have it all in one line. Uh, I was actually, no, we, we should be fine. Because it, if it's a room this size, and it should be, then you do three on one wall, three on the other wall, and that gives you six. Maybe make one of the rooms, or hell, even dare I say, instead of having like the middle, because I know it was like three by three, essentially the big floor plan for the whole base base. Yeah. Maybe combine uh, a middle three and a bottom three and the hallway so that we can have all those in line because it makes mixing it a lot easier too, according to some of the videos I've seen. Uh, the order you put them in is what makes it easier to mix. Well, but the piping and the That's nesting. That's the trick. But the, the nesting yeah. and the piping, though, because you want to keep the piping as simple as possible next to the pipes, or next to not the pipes, uh, next to the tanks. Yep. I've I've actually already got a flow diagram for that, believe it or not. Also, it was going to end up being a two-story room. Well, I know. I got that, but I'm just like... the simple, like I, I'm kind of a really big fan of just having all in one line because it also makes it easier to change the filters out. If they're gonna be at the rear corners, you're gonna have to like for the one in the one. Oh, no, no, no. The filters are gonna be facing you. So if you walk into the room and you're standing here, the filters will be here, here, um, here. Yeah, they'll be I'm, they'll be these three. I'm still concerned here, it's gonna be a little bit and more three here than facing you. That I've seen where, where it's just like a straight line, and it was like stupid easy to wire everything up and pipe everything it, up. It, it's a straight line with literally a bend in the middle. Okay. That's literally what I'm doing. I'm taking the straight line design and putting a 90-degree bend in the middle 
So there's like four extra pieces of pipe and two extra pieces but of wire. Right, the in two between. middle ones were going to be his like oxygen, his volatiles, though. Is that going to cause a problem for mixing those? What about oxygen and volatiles? To make fuel. No, that won't cause a problem. All right. We heard it here first, guys. It won't cause a problem. <laughs> I don't. I'm trying to figure out what you're what you're I know, asking. Because it's like because like the video like made a very big deal about like you know you you keep it in a very straight thing, so that's like it's easy to do the mixes and stuff later on down the line. Oh so. yeah, they they do that because when you when they show you how to do the things, they don't show you all the shit you're gonna have off like the gas the gas fill tank ports and then pipes coming off of it. So they're like, make sure it's straight so that you can take it apart and add T-junctions in all over the place whenever you need to add mixtures. Well, I mean, he already had that in the video I watched because it had a single exit pipe because he had a T-junction right as it came off the main tank on every single one. Yeah. you. I think you watched the same video I did. He was like, here's a T-junction for adding shit later. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing basically that except literally that except with a 90 degree bend in the middle to wrap around the room. All right. All right. It is your design. You're good. <laughs> I, I, I just kind of like, I feel like the, the, the single long one would be fine, but it's definitely, like, you're, you, the, the, I'm, I'm not trying to be passive aggressive with this. I swear to God. <laughs> Go do it. You're fine. <laughs> I'll get the materials. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out like, other than My literally aesthetic. that few extra, types of simplicity it's, it's, kind of, it's like the extra little bit of simplicity of it. and it's just my like I like the aesthetic of having it all on a single line <clears throat> right but then the building would be a different shape and then it would be there would cool, be no simple it would be kind of like this cool asymmetrical thing I feel it's already going to be asymmetrical we've got the buildings being tall and shit well I meant like on the, the brown level too because you would have that like one thing that would be like what three how many? How, what's the what's the length of the hallways? One, two, uh, three, four. four. So it'd be like uh, that would be a four by eight. So it would be a Let's ten long building. Eight, four, eight, nine, ten. No, that'd be an eleven long building. That was either three or, or four wide. Actually, no, it wouldn't be eleven because for the initial bit to it, you wouldn't have it. But then the the three by three. Four for the building we're taking over. Four for the hallway plus three for the the center okay, airlock so ready room. 11. For the center one? I thought we were doing it off on one of the sides. Yeah, it's the corner one, and then you said the hallway. Well, and the and the room that's saying, attached like, to that. What I was saying is if like you did like from this room right here, and essentially the middle room on this left, on uh, what's this, the, this is the eastern wing. If you just did yeah. like the middle one and then the back corner one, if those were combined with the hallway. Right. So the the middle room is three. No, I, I'm not disagreeing the with the eleven. Room is four. Okay. But you mentioned like something with the middle thing. I'm like, I thought you were talking about like the middle middle, like the one that's incomplete out there. Oh no 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 no. That's no, what I was just no. like. No, not that one. I was going on the far side. No 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 no. It it is going on the far side. Okay okay. All right. Um, yeah. uh, do you need to come out? Yeah, I should probably close my mask and close everything out. Cycling. Yep. Damn it! Right. He got his mask down. <laughs> I mean, all is well, all I right. see. So I'm getting iron and probably copper if I can come across it. Why yeah, I... those are probably the priorities. Alright. Close that up. Uh, I'm going to head west. Wow, it's already middle head of the day. West, young man. man. That was fucking... <laughs> that was a long-ass explanation. Like five minutes of how the fuck is this working? Why do you not trust the robot? He has your best interests in no, mind. No, he doesn't. He cares about himself. No, that's that's like the last one of Isomov's laws. It's fine. Yeah, I don't feel that you subscribe to his laws. I do. We just you just gotta you know look at the fine print. It makes me exactly feel that you don't subscribe to his laws. There have been a few times of like, hey, James, I need to have oxygen accessible from the inside because I can't really go outside if I don't have oxygen. What are you talking about? That'll be fine. We don't need that. Okay, Mr. Robot. Listen, it, 
the, the first battery law of situation robotics too. is that I should do everything I can to keep the human alive. There's the battery thing too. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna make all the big batteries. Well, what about the little batteries for us? I need those two to survive. Well, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> you're like, See? you're like the bender of Isaac Asimov's rules of robots. It's just like, eh, they're more guidelines. Just like, ugh. Listen, I follow the rules. Loosely. Very loosely. No, it just depends on your definition of human. Ouch. That's, that's, uh, damn, dude. I'm gonna unplug your batteries at night. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> depends on your definition. Well, there's only one of us here. all the air out of everything. God damn it. <clears throat> it's a cleaning cycle. We need to have complete hard vacuum. For everyone who ever wonders it, for our uh, for our clue game in the midst of Mars, it was the robots in the airlock with a uh, laser beam. If anyone wonders, that's exactly what happened there. I suspect they don't wonder. <laughs> hmm. that's a little obvious there. Um, do you think we have another gold for a third battery, maybe? Actually, wait, uh, wait, wait, backing up, backing up. How many panels did we have? We had eight? We have eight. Uh, ideally, I'd like to put up more panels before more batteries, because yeah, the ones we have aren't getting fully charged yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, really, with the extra four being all the time, which now I can look at the base and go, hey, look, what the, what time of day is it? Where are the lot panels aligning to? Um, with the eight yeah. going full time as opposed to just a four, that should get us a good way. So I, but I would vote another four. Yeah, definitely another four. So um, another 80 copper. We're not... I think we're drawing just more than we're generating. Because uh -huh. the batteries are slowly going down, but we've also been running this O2, this air system the entire time, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, we just need to be able to support all the passive stuff, too. So I do need to have about at least 80 copper for another four panels. Oh, no, is it a... Is 20 per? 20 per 16? Uh, I think it was 20 80. per. Yeah, so I need 80 for that. Plus, we need the wiring. Well, do we have spill? Do we saw spare wiring for all that. Uh, like, what we do you either need to have implement? the wiring or can make it. What do you? What do we need to fully implement the extra four panels? Because I have the requisite amount of copper. Um, and I know we have just uh, a little bit left of extra emergency iron. I, I have to go inside. Okay. Excuse me. I have to go inside and check. Well, uh, I think I've exhausted this, this little patch of. Um, of copper here. I'm going to try and make my way over to an iron patch before the sun goes down the rest of the way. And, uh, speaking of, I think I just found some right here. Um, oh, and oxide too. Perfect. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll just fill up on the iron, fill up on the oxide, run it through our our little doom machine thing that we have going on. And, uh, did this not get mined out? Oh, this is some of my other handiwork. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go inside and check on what wiring-wise we need for All the... Right, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. More iron. Because I know I pre-ran some of the wire, but I know I didn't pre-run all of it because of limited resources. Mm -hmm. Oh, give me my belt back. I need my belt. <clears throat> yeah, I've got I've got the requisite amount. What's this? Oh, it's oxide. I guess I'll take oxide. Um, I've got the requisite amount of copper we need. I'm getting the iron ish right now, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm getting more oxide to pressurize the base. I would really like it if I had a fresh patch of fucking iron to dig into before I got out of sunlight. So we're just going to drop a flare right there. Where are you? Are you silver? Are you gold? That's silver. That's silver. That's iron. I'll take iron. Oh, this is another partial pit. Handy. So, 
there anything else we need? Oh, that's right. We need to print uh, a furniture kit and a microwave, too. That's right. Does not compute. <sighs> Look, buddy. When the battery's no longer worky-worky and the organic has to shove stuff in, he has to be alive to shove the stuff in. I... That's, that's what I'm trying eh, to say. Yeah, your case has been made, sure, I suppose. Jesus. Some fucking robots. God damn it. If you don't feed me, I die. And then if I die, you die. I wouldn't Remember, call this kids, necessarily the secret to preventing the psychopath robot from murdering everyone is to remind the robot that keeping it alive is the entire function of the organic. Exactly. I'm not calling you a slaver at all. I'm gonna bring a shit ton more of oxide in there as well to get the base kind of. Dare I say, we should probably almost almost overpressure it just because. Um, yeah. We're gonna be adding those extra rooms in. 45, yeah, you just don't want to blow out the windows, is all. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I wonder if I can shove this shit in my backpack. And then. I just have it melt when I start walking in. Let's find out. I don't know. I was just threw the shit on the ground and walked away. Well, that's what I've been doing, but it's been like, can I store it in other locations and not have it melt? Like, I know I can't put it in the fucking cupboard, but, I mean, can I, like, put it in my, my other belt? Let's find out. <clears throat> also, part of me really wants to fucking game the system and print a second mining belt. <laughs> to store more ore well, in. <laughs> you have no idea how hard I've been putting myself off from just doing that. Yeah. Or like another backpack, or the jetpack, just to have back. Another bag to hold shit. <laughs> I'm gonna cycle the airlock. Actually, kind of want propellant again. Put you there. We're gonna grab one of you. No, 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 no. Go back in. And then we're gonna do two volatiles. We're gonna fire it. Ooh, those killer kelvins. Always feels so nice. that goes. There that goes. I'm going to pull the lever cronk. Oh, what, what the yeah. fuck? Was my pressure too high? Why the hell? That's fucking weird. Why didn't my... Well, that's really bizarre. <clears throat> yeah, you break it? Not quite, but... Uh, I guess the temperature wasn't high enough for iron. There it goes. Because <clears throat> I had like an 800 Kelvin... Uh... Much of a call, I'm just like, why is this being weird? Completely unrelated note. Uh, uh -huh. Can you cycle the airlock such that I can come out? Hang on. I'm yeah. getting last. When you get to a second. <clears throat> da -da -da -da. And I'm coming in. That was it. I just wanted to come in. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Hey, look, the oxide's already melting. Convenient. <laughs> so you had a guaranteed plan no matter what. 
Okay, so the question is, if I put it in my backpack, it doesn't melt. Interesting. Ooh, Even like really? I have it in my jetpack, and it's not melting. That's good to know. Yeah. As soon as you drop that fucker, though, it just goes. <clears throat> Drop another hundred of it, and we'll see what happens. It's all just so decidedly warmer on the mechanical side of the base. <laughs> By, like, about two or three degrees. <clears throat> Alright, so we need lights up here. You know what? Alright, so is that the electronics part? That is. Um... I'm going to shove 92 grams of copper in there. Does that need iron? That kind of need iron, too. We'll put uh, 50 in there. And this guy had the 23. We'll put another 40 in there. And no one cares about the pipe punch, pipe, uh, pipe guy. Alrighty. So, let's get... I want a microwave. Bring me one of those. That costs one gold. Ugh. The things we do for warm baked potatoes. We? We are actually... We collectively as the queen. Alright, so the base... The royal me. Yeah, the base is at 105 kilopascals. <clears throat> so we should be... Which in, is about perfect. Yeah, so we should be okay to um, add other stuff and the room will pressurize. Yeah. Okay, cool. We should be set now to completely add up to eight more solar panels and just drop them in. Okay. Uh, what else do I need? I need eight lights. Um, let's get a light kit. Apparently they have portable lights, too. Alright, so I need two more for upstairs, and you want to know what? I want to throw out a couple of outside ones. Ah, we'll just go with two for the upstairs. Right, so just two of those. The microwave. Can I get some more cable? Parts of those. Over here, I need furniture. I need one of those. Ah, I need five grams of copper? I thought I put copper in. Oh, no, we have copper still. It's just... In You're making a shit ton of cables? Uh, no, I'm making some cables, but um, I'm also um, making a thing to do the, the, the microwave. So that when I do eventually start making baked potatoes, I can make our potato stock last a while. But I am making shit on the cables, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious just how far that'll stack up into the corner of the room. Because <clears throat> it's not like, you know, we're not going to need the cables. True. Should be fine. Uh, how many did I make? Eh, I only made 24 cables. Yeah, it just looks like a lot more than it is. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, where am I going to shove that damn... I'll probably just put it in the other fucking room right now. Uh... Yep, I've got enough gold in the printer to make four more solar panels. Oh, we and, burned the wall. Damn. and there's another 191 gold on the wall, so I'm using Okay, that. okay, I was just like I, th I thought we had more than that. Okay, yeah, that works. Yeah, we're down to one battery at two pips of charge. So yeah, we definitely want to get those other four. Yeah, up. that's all I was like, just more. Um, actually this is gonna sound really dumb, but I just noticed we have normal electrical cable running into solar panels. Uh yes, that's the data lines. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, if you gotcha. look on the opposite side, there's heavy cable. Okay, yeah, I didn't know if that was data or what that was. Okay. Because I thought they only had the one. No. Okay. Uh, normal crappy solar panels do, oh, but actual solar them. panels have a data and a power line. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so you'll notice I've got the... I saw on the other side, too, where it has the, the ones so it's set up as well yeah. to take data and data. It is all coming from this wall, and power is all going to the other wall. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we're going to put some more better lights up. Door long. Long wide. There we 
go. I'm going to start getting this shit wired up. Because I want to be able to see shit up here. And you know what, Bob? It's fucking dark up here. Should need lights to be cast good ways. So we'll do. I almost forgot to grab the uh, glass sheets that I will <laughs> need. Oh, I guess the wall angle, the lo wall, the long angle ones can also be put on the floor too. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah, to look up. Well, because the angle it actually would also it would do up, but it would also do across the room too. Yeah, as long as you don't block it. I don't know how much they're blocked by things for to make shadows. Yeah, you got a point. Part of me wishes we had some more walls on the upstage here, but this works. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do that. So we'll have two lights up here, and then we'll have the one light down there in the other room. So it's not quite so fucking dark. Kill some of these lights to help kind of conserve a little bit of power to get the rest of that up. Alrighty then. I think I am able to go outside again. <sighs> I don't have the cable. I have the cable. Oh, that's right. I need to put my fucking... I mean, I should be good for another couple days, but... Um... All right, you come here. Need you to go like right there. All right, that'll work. <clears throat> and hopefully this doesn't break everything. Click. There we go. Oh, no, that totally broke everything. Cool. Good to know. <clears throat> and then we need our microwave. That will place over there. Sure. Attach it with a wrench. Sure. Alrighty. And now I can cook my potatoes. Yay! The joys of being an organic. Oh, yeah, that's right, I can grab those last four or five road flares. <clears throat> grab you on destroy. Is there any other protruding bits of gravel in here? There are. Alrighty. I think for the moment we have sufficient iron, yeah? I mean, we um, don't. For the moment. I can go and get some tomorrow is the important thing. Because <clears throat> I'd like to just wire up some more lights. So we have 12 panels now? Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, that should be... 12 panels angled should be more than enough to charge up those two batteries. Because I have like 12 shitty ones and it kept two batteries going. This mask, air, 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 lock, go. <clears throat> Alrighty. With that all done, let's get to wiring. Got that, and we've got that. Oopsie doozles. Alright, so. I had a guy over here who needed a power line. So that room's powered. 
Okay, that's terrifying, James. <laughs> With all those panels what? like that. That is, that is fucking terrifying. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> Look at him go. Damn. Alright, where was this last? Ah, there we are. Okay. Don't go under the panels. You uh you get slightly stuck when they move. Oh, well that's that's good to know. Okay. Um the ring of power going around the top perimeter of the thing. Is that a standard power that I'm okay or is that data? Uh, the this one right here is data. So this I is cannot, just a data line. So I can. You can tap power off of it, but it is all running through one transformer and is purely for that data line. I was gonna hook a light up to it. Oh yeah, you can do that. I've got the the one light already hooked up to it right okay, here. Okay, that's I was, I was like, did, am I am I fucking with the feng shui? I no, 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 no. You can you can throw an LED on that. It's not my an LED, my theory it's is if just it's normal. It's yeah, that's light. fine. Yeah, I just wanted to get, like, a bright light in there. Because the LED is fine for seeing the doorway, but for actually seeing anything in that room, <laughs> it's a no. <clears throat> right. Okay. Cool. Also, the fun fact is, we don't actually have to use our fucking jetpacks to go in there to get up here. We have that ladder access still. <laughs> yeah, the jetpack's just a lot easier for doing this. <clears throat> oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, there we go. All of them are aligned. Cool. Yeah, I'll give that a, probably a couple days, and we should be in good shape for getting the batteries charged. Dare I'd say we could probably put another four in to be, like, extra fucking safe, and then throw a third battery in there, but... Also, jeez, yeah. this thing is... I mean, it's, it's pre-wired for another row of four, so whenever we would you decide to do that. Dear God, I didn't realize this is going to help. Maybe in future builds, we might be able to shorten that down by, like, from, like, four to maybe, like, two even? And that would kind of really reduce the footprint. Unless that would really fuck with your center one. Do you think? Uh, you could make them two, and then there'd be a one long hallway between these and the center room. I think I'd be okay with that. Um... Yeah, I think I'd be okay with that. Though me admittedly being the creature of habit that I am, I'm like still like I can I definitely know that there's going to be more use for this stuff stupid airlock over here. And the ones on the other side as well. Just because, you know, big sprawly base. Especially even on the southern side, the side I said that no one would ever need an airlock for. But I'm like just like just like uh Yeah. As opposed to going around. Yeah, but I mean, on the same token, knowing that I have, like, the thing is we'd have to have, like, extra, f like, canister filling stations in each one of these things. Yeah. It's a lot of complication and extra pipes. <laughs> it, it, you said base. I heard fortress. Uh, this isn't seven days to die. Yet. Yet. At least I can print up a... That's a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's for me to deal with you for when there you go, go to Feral. Therefore, there are things to fight against. No, that's that's for me to use on you when you go Feral. That's but, impossible. I thought you got that memo. You're the only one that can catch rabies here. Good grief. Also, you probably want to print a tool bench, too, at some point. Because um, I forgot, I grabbed the last of the flares. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna want to print that next then. Uh, we'll just 3D print that. It's not like my real life job is totally bleeding into my fantasy job. <clears throat> the difference is that uh, you don't normally need like 17 different types of printers for 3D printing. Uh, yeah, probably like two to three at best. Right. For at least for what I'm dealing with. Hey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
much iron is in here? Because I know we need a shit ton of it. The loneliness is actually getting to him now. I'm not lonely. There's a sarcastic robot to keep me company. I'll follow this away in my list of reasons that he's clearly gone feral. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm suddenly reminded of, uh, which movie was that? It was a sci-fi movie. Guy had a, guy was on the moon base and he like mined hydrogen or some jazz. Uh -huh. His job was to keep all the machines running. Right. And the, the giant twist at the end was that he was a clone and basically every time that that particular guy got old and died that they just pulled a new clone out of a vat. Oh, that's terrifying. And they've been doing... Yeah. Oh, God. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was... It's a really, really famous sci-fi movie oh, now. Oh, man. Uh, uh, also, if you're in there, could you put me up another CO2 filter? I appear uh, to have yeah. exhausted another one. Yep, absolutely. Alright. As soon as I'm done making this tool manufactory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no rush. I've got two more. You know what we should totally do in the greenhouse? We should somehow have, like, a single bit of platforming, scaffolding going up even higher than it. And just put a couple of blinking lights on it. <laughs> I'm not against this. Where's the base at? I don't know. Look for the blinking fucking lights. I mean, we were talking about a cooling tower. Actually, that would that would work too, right there. A cooling tower with the, uh, the blinky lights. Some blinky lights all over it. A lot of ladders too, because after a certain height, your jetpack's not going to get you up there anyway. True. Sad, Mr. Flair. I think you did because you're about to go out. Yep, you did. You made me sad. Uh, oh, no. Is that? No, that's not. Damn it. Oh, no. Oh, ha ha. We got more. Ha ha ha. Just when I thought we were out, we're back in it, kids. But yeah, let me know what the name of that movie is. Uh, it sounds interesting. Now to put out some oxygen filters. Oxygen filters. That's that's not what I need. Well, it's okay. It'll filter all the oxygen into the waste tank for you. <sighs> Robot's gone feral. I can only do as I was programmed. Clearly not. Cool, pebcak errors. Mm -hmm. Clearly, whoever sent me on this stupid mission was trying to kill me. Nacho was right. But really incompetently. Oh, oh, apparently I'm really hungry too now. I've got so many fucking warning lights coming up on my suit. This is this can't be good. Yeah, that's that's probably not great. And I had a hunger one, I have the oh yeah, you're out of uh filters one, I got the low power one. <laughs> that's okay. Mine just tells me I'm out of air. And also filters. How'd you run out of air? I thought you had is, is uh, it still keeping like your temperature two... up? Uh, so far. I mean, like, the suit is pressurized, but the tank itself is at zero PSI. Uh, That's it. Probably... My waste tank's at 25. You should probably, like... I'm just gonna swap them. Oh, God, can you do that? Uh, I mean, obviously, I just you just did, did it. <laughs> yup. Oh, that is... Now that is... So upset. <laughs> that is so dumb. I, because it's still air. I hate oh you god. ever so slightly. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so perfect. I, I... could just keep refilling it until well, it's at good pressure and then just pop them whenever they're bad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. You're, you hurt my soul. I want you to know that. Uh, unrelated note, I, I printed your filter for you. Thank you. I, I'm just like, wow, that's... I mean, uh, what waste tank gonna be filled with? Oxygen? I, I don't know. See, this is just. Uh, yeah, 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 I have no words. There's a lot fundamentally wrong with this. I mean, a lot. Also, how deep is this pit I'm in? Jesus. Yeah. 
And I was like, I'm looking up and I was like, I can't see anything. What the hell is going on here? I'm going to go with deep enough. Well, apparently I had gotten myself into like a lip shaped overhang. And so I need to kind of like dig up, as it were. However, I'm in such a position right now that I have to use the light because flares won't sit here. At least not sit here neatly anymore. So, uh -huh. back to we are. How much fucking iron have I got? Jesus. Okay, so hmm. I'm just I'm just gonna warn you right now. All right. When I, when I return to you with multiple bars of iron, remember, don't put them all into the same machine. <laughs> oh, good, because I was going to ask you about iron. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of iron so far, and counting. So, I'll probably come back at dawn, is the most likely yeah. thing. Yeah, what I figure, what I've been doing is just grabbing a bar of whatever I need whenever the thing mm -hmm. runs out and just slowly feeding them in. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably just gonna, instead of, I'm, I'll stock the three machines with at least with one bar, with one 50 bar, 50 kilogram bar, 50 gram bar each. Blech, words are hard. And then I'll put the remaining ones in the, uh, the locker. Yeah, and then just as stuff runs out, we'll mm -hmm. throw another bar in. That seems pretty logical to me. This way we don't have the situation of, like, the 200 gram bar of gold we have to fucking flip between, like, four machines. Because <laughs> admittedly, that shit gets old fast. It's cool, and the sound of the clinking bars is never gonna get old, but, like, it, it's, it takes a little bit of time. It does take a little bit of time, yeah. There's like more hidden somewhere. Don't think that's the case though. All right, yeah, I think we're good at. Uh, I think that's gonna be at like 350 units of uh, <laughs> 350 units of fucking shit. All right, that's our air system, and are you your airlock, which means right next to us will be this guy. Da 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 in there da 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 I love this locker, it is the best. We made it just for you. It's custom built. I know, right? Alright, uh now we get to play the fun game with the damn thing, which is still four hundred and twenty three Kelvin. Let's let some pressure off. That is impressive. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's the belt. Two volatiles. One ice. Fire, fire. That's a lot of pressure. Let's let some of that off. There it goes. Okay. It's like we're having a technical difficulty here. You're just gonna have to bear with us. 
Alrighty, 120k Kelvin. Let's go. Let's flip that fucker open and just go to town. Clink. And too warm. Damn it. Maybe the pressure's not high enough? I don't know. It's weird. Alright, let's close that guy up. Fuck. Fire, fire. And we're not at 120 kk. That number and we're at good temperatures. All right. All right. Cool. There we go. All right, and we're just gonna release all that pressure out into the world. Dish, he yeah, says. pretty much. Pretty much. I'm a little sad it doesn't leave scorch marks on the dirt around it. <laughs> All right. Um, I've got a metric fuck ton of iron. Looks like about 341 Ooh. grams. Uh, two blocks of 100, three, uh, two blocks of 50, and one block of 41. Oh, that'll be super good. Yeah. That was just next door, too. Yeah, convenient. I know, right? Okay, uh, let's drop it off back here. Oh, uh, all right, so let's see here. We need that and that. All right, so 100 grams are going in the other guy. 100 grams are going to go into the electronic spinner. And we're going to do... We'll, we'll do 90 into the pipe thing. And then this way that should cover us pretty much for all the things... Uh, for the foreseeable future. And then we have another 50 in reserve. Seems good. All right. Oh, that's Next, right. we just copper. Also, there's a uh, filter on the left box for you in the center of it. Oh. Also, a tool manufactory. My murder robot's not trying to kill me after all. Hmm. Awkward. See, no one ever, no one ever believes the murder robot when he changes the labels on the uh, filters. Motherfucker! It was one time. That kills people, Carl. Oh, luckily, murder bot's name is not Carl. It's God James. Damn it! I hate you. <laughs> not as much as Carl would. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna go upstairs and put that damn toolkit thing in. What is this, though? Next, you're going to be sitting here referencing Candy Mountain and any Guess freaking what we can't put up here. kids are going to be like, what are they talking about? Guess what we can't put upstairs. You're kidding me. Dead serious. Yeah. Can you put a recycler upstairs? <laughs> Where's right, my other belt? I think we need the... All right, let's let's find out. Yeah, we can put a recycler upstairs. No, I think I figured out the solution. Yep, I know. Okay, buddy, I need you to like go the other direction. Huh? That's interesting. Okay. Whatever. Down it goes. This guy. Uh, we'll 
put the manufacturing about right there. Kind of fucks with the feng shui a bit, but uh, what you gonna do? I mean, hell. The more I'm running into this, the more I almost feel like this just needs to be a fucking like three by three room with just like, or like maybe even a four by three room. <clears throat> And just have the hallway going down the goddamn middle of it. And just have the fucking machines going down both sides. Is what it's more and more feeling like as I go. Mm, put that there. Do we have any iron sheets? We have one iron sheet. Holy sheet. Alright. There, put the welding torch there. Now, before I do this, I really want to have that there. Hmm. I don't really have any other options. Yeah. Four cable coils. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Plastic sheets. I feel we have these. Hey, James. Yes. Where are the plastic sheets? Uh, I have thirty-one of them in my hand. Can I have two? Uh, you can have. Yes. Uh, give me a second. I gotta come inside anyway. All right. Actually, I should probably swap out my batteries and things. I'm at 13%, and that's bad for me. Whoop. There we go. Actually, I wonder how our... Ooh, look at that. We got a full charge on the left battery and halfway on the second. Nice. Yep. Uh, these are for you. Thanks. And there's that, and there's a screwdriver to finish the job. Boop. Ooh, that's impressive looking. Actually, let's turn a fucking light on. How about that? That's cool. Uh, uh, you put it too far back. Huh? You put it in the window. Motherfucker! God damn it. Why Why do you stick it in the window? What I, is this just, magic? Just, just, this sorcery. Just, 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 just. May Space I ask a favor? Magic. May I ask a favor? Absolutely. Um... So, um, I think we have a spare, we have a spare iron sheet, a spare iron wall. Could you do the, uh, crazy shuffle that we normally do on this back corner window right here? So I can throw a light right there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Give me just yeah. a minute. It's weird to have three lights all in a corner, but it's just like, there's nothing in here giving any light. And even just a little LED light would, I think, would help a lot. Yeah, I suspect you're right. All right, give me just a minute, and I will do that. All right. Another angle grinder. And then probably a wrench, if I remember right. Yep, there it is. Damn. I hate I want to do that shit. That's okay. I'm not even going to talk about the amount of times I did that when I was first setting the auto lathe in there. <laughs> At uh, night. I, I feel really... And your NVGs where you can't really see. Yeah, that's fair. The trick was I only built it twice. Fully. Completely wrong. Oof. That there. I suspect I'm going to need that in a half second. Go. All right, so that's going to pull. Go. Yep, let me know when you want me to remove it, and Hang I will on. come back and do so. Put the screwdriver back in that slot. We'll pull the window, and we will pull the frame. And we'll put the glass plate there, grab you. And then we're going to angle grind the other asshole. Do, 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 do. All right, you can go there. You can go there. All right, and we needed, so it's going to be a wall type one is the one we've been using, right? Uh, yeah, we've been using the one. You're good to pull. 
All right, uh, we'll come do so in a minute. Do you have cable wire at all out there at all, or on you? Uh, no, I do not. Are you inside right now? Nope, I'm outside. Can I cycle the airlock for something for you? Yeah, I mean, you, you can, sure. But I think that's heavy cable you just picked up. Nah, it's normal cable. Sending a gift. Oh, I should probably put a fucking light kit, shouldn't I? Uh, electronics. I need to, like, color these. Like, the fucking electronics kit and the pipe bender look the same. Uh, looking for a light. Hopefully spelled correctly as I fuck it up twice. Alright. Look it. Huh? No, it was it was a lot worse than that. It was, it was a lot worse than that, I assure you. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, you're clear to pull it up, though. Placement requires support. Out there it goes. Okay, that's off. And what am I wiring? The light? Yeah, hang on. I'm trying to okay. figure out the best way to do this. You know, we could actually almost do an angled one. Try that. Okay, you should have power to it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That, I mean, it doesn't get light into the middle locker, but it gets light into the locker right here, and it does cast pretty well into the room. Yeah, the only thing I want now is just a light in this corner over here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could always just, just, you could always just that. do one of the walls. I could throw, make, make another light kit. Yeah, I was thinking of putting an LED onto the ceiling. Oh, yeah, because we... No, these aren't ceilings. We can't do the ceilings because it goes onto the floor, essentially. Why not? Well, no, no I'm saying you'd have to redo you the ceiling in this entire area, otherwise you'd have just like that one square kind of sticking out. No, you pull the panel off. What? You put the panel up, and then you put the light on it, and then you pull the panel off. It feels like that's gaming the system a little bit. Yeah, sort of. I mean, eventually I'm going to put paneling there anyway. I guess. Oh, are you still outside? Oh, fuck, you're not. I was going to say, I was going to make this a vertical light. Because I was thinking, I was just like, this isn't really quite cashing the light I want. And I was like, it doesn't really get into the, either of these two things. I'll go outside. Hold off. Uh, Hold on. All right. Thank you, James. We appreciate it. The robot doesn't care that it's sent outside repeatedly. But it does. Alright, you should be able to put the light up. Alright, um, I want the... What the hell's a diode slide? What is that supposed slide? to be? Yeah, it's Don't number that six. One. I've never placed it before. I don't know. Put it up, see what it looks like. Nah, yeah, that's fine. Alright, go ahead and rewire that. I think that should give us the lighting we're looking for in here. Because those, those wide ones, when they're vertical, put a lot of area light off. Oh yeah, that's... that's ooh, wow. Oh, yeah. uh, you still can't see it. Yeah, we might have to just fucking just do fucking the ceiling lights. Just have them run all the way down. Cables. 
a really long copper again. Then again, I think we burned a lot of it doing the stupid. Yeah. Burned a lot of doing the solar panels, which I think is like 15. Do you have one more light? Um, I could make another light. Alright, if you make one real quick. Yeah, hang on. Where'd you want to put it? Where'd you want to put it? Uh, right here in this corner on the ceiling. On the ceiling? Oh, I see what you're doing there. You want in the corner, or...? I mean, I'd pull it a little away from the corner, more, you know, centerish of the room. Did you want one of the long ones like wall. we've been doing? Uh, I don't even know. Just Actually, let's try and angle something. one and then angle it into the room. If I can do that right. Uh, I think that's all we want. That be it? Yeah, that would do it. You think? Yeah, that should work. It'll light right. up the corner. That's really what we're after. Yeah. And we just run the cables on the ceiling. There it is, Molly. And you're taking that over to there. There you go. Yeah, uh, oh, I was going to run it just from the ceiling here. On the interior. Because aren't it's pretty much already lines up. No, I was just going to tap it in right here. On the ground? Yeah, I've already got it. I need one, two, three, four pieces of cable. Oh, that hurts me a little inside a little bit. <laughs> Fine, I guess. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, da, 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 da. How much did you need? Uh, four? Maybe five, but I think four. Alright, I got five for you. There you go. <clears throat> Sir? I'm not looking for the time forward to the time where we retrofit everything to have like ceiling lights, because that's obviously the best thing to do. But it's just like, ugh. Uh, I mean, that actually works fairly well. Do we need yeah, this one still with that? Puts light in here. Yeah, like I'm wishing I didn't need to run both of these because like the four make it work, you know. Like, that's a yeah. fully lit room. It's bright. You could see everything. Except, like, text on things, but, you know. Yeah, but it's good enough you can work in here. <gasps> we can make hard suits. Ooh. Oh, God. Now he's going to make a hard suit. And MVGs. Oh, God. Gold, Constantin, solder, solder, and silicon. Oh, God. It's only going to make it harder to sneak up on him in the dark. Uh, oh, dirt canister. Three grams of iron. Fire extinguisher, road flares. Road flares are just one gram of iron. Spray paint of a variety of colors. A basket? What? They have a basket. They also have an arc welder. An energy pistol, an energy rifle, hand drill tool, heavy mining. Oh, drill. I need a suit. You need a what? The marine armor suit for you know wounds. <laughs> I mean, the yeah. basketball. Yeah, I mean, admittedly, for you, I mean, the only thing that would hurt you with with is just not having a pressurized, heated environment. Yeah. Some Let's see. Oh, you're not kidding about the colors. Jeez. Yeah. Ooh, a train manacle. Ooh, I really want that heavy mining drill. Solder, invar, electum, and steel. But we actually have to have. Very, very specific pressure and heat values for that shit. Hmm. Interesting. Also, we may want to start seeing about making consoles. And wiring them up to each room or something like that. And this way we can have like a light switch, for lack of a better thing. Because this, this suddenly starts to get a little heavy on the power consumption when you've got... 
two upstairs and four downstairs. <laughs> you know? That's like really the only complaint that this could do is it's just, it's just a lot of power draw. Pretty night. sure they're equivalent to a motion sensor you can put in. That would actually work too. And then it yeah, would just... so if it detects a person or an entity, then it turns the lights on in that room. <clears throat> well, the, the trick would be, because they're only good for like one cube worth of uh, detection, they would detect someone here, it would count. But the problem is, is if someone else, a second person came into the room, it would cut all the lights off. There's... There's a way around that. I'd have to. I'd have to look at it. Either that or just like, like I, said, I gotta see what, what they even have for sensors. Yeah. Oh, they only have the three. It's the motion sensor, the atmospheric sensor, and then the uh, the light sensor. Well, let, me, got. let me phrase that better. I need to look at what they have for variables on those sensors. Ah, uh, I gotcha. All right. Well, I think we're gonna like wrap things up here because we're yeah, because like the light sensor does daylight angle and also daylight on off. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, we're going to wrap up here. Uh, thanks for watching. We do appreciate it. Uh, I will attempt to stream on Thursday. Um, I made no promises. Um, but until then, we'll see everyone later. Take care, peace out, and have a good one.